it's a blinding day in April now. It's like the third. That's G. We've all got our shirts tied up because it's hot. Not super hot, but hot enough. And we're doing terraced gardening, if I can find Debbie doing it. See, we're building a garden up in the forest. I did my daily trash pickup, which turned out rather well. Found a bike handle around here for some reason. Um, haven't put up the hammocks today, probably will later this evening. Um, we've been collecting brush and different things for the uh, mud oven, and among other things. Um, the mud oven got another layer of cardboard on top of the mud pie and has kind of just been sitting here waiting for a hot enough day that we can put more cob on it. Um, and there's the lovely brush pile. The greenhouse is um, doing pretty well. Um, Evie has a little bit of poison ivy, which is pleasant. Um, the dandelions are up, and they're surprisingly less bitter than they usually are, so maybe it's just being out in the rural territories. Um, found two full, dirty diapers in the woods today during trash pickup. That was horrifying. And, um, we're going about to start getting things, like, seeds set out. You know, gotta love quarantine. There really isn't anything to do but what you should be doing. Joseph's in the house because he's, um, not good in the sun. Um, uh, pregnancy stuff has been happening. Um, you know, I haven't peaked again, which is nice. Almost. But, still doing pretty good. Um, so, it's just spring. There was a lovely little florette of butterflies in a puddle this morning. Of them just, you know, like, drinking and flying around, and it was really pretty. But now I'll give you an up-close view of the whole terraced gardening situation. Forgive my windedness. Um, I've been walking around a lot today. Hi, Dee. Pretty black hair. And you just go up and up and up. And my husband moved that all oh, out by himself. I shall have to get on to him for that. He chopped his measuring stick. Yeah. But this is the terrace gardening situation. Um, kind of a wattle retaining wall thing going there. Um, we're planning on doing, like, permaculture methods up here, but we're kind of having to terraform garden space. Yep. Um, um, can't exactly go digging in the yard, so, any more than we already have, anyway. Mm. Yes, he <laughs> kind of looks like he's wearing a navy blue toga today. Sure. <laughs> and then we're also trying to clean up all of the brush and stuff that was present. It's sumac tree right there, I think. But yeah, this is the gardening situation. So now, so now I'll take you to see all the seeds that we're going to plant. Our seed stash. A lot of these we bought from dollar stores or the Walmart because we went a little while ago. A while. Blah, blah, blah. These are some flower seeds for the front yard to make it just a little more colorful because, you know, um, Sahara Desert isn't quite appealing. You know what I mean? Um, the house is still kind of messy because we have to get rid of some more stuff. But this binder has my herb seeds in it. Um, I got some lavender and some peppermint. I still need more, but that'll have to wait. These are the ones that this bottom clear pocket is all the ones that have stuff in them. And this is all my empty ones. Um, so, if we go around here, this is our bucket of dirt. And we have Dixie cups and everything we're going to use to um, do the actual planting. We found a farm store pretty close, so we got some fertilizer and a bag of Golden Yukon seed potatoes. 
and we're working on, because the farm store said they'd order chicks for us, so probably going to get some chicks. And um, I already told mom if we move again, we're just taking the chickens. <laughs> but other than that, it's just a lot of hollow blue. So I will check back with you soon. Not to mention we did get a thing of onion sets at the store as well. Um, cheese. <laughs> and so, um, we will have a full walkthrough of the garden when we get it planted, so. I hope you have a great, wonderful day. We'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.